every day something new that I don't like. And if I have to touch on somebody that like you do this with, I feel like I'm changing the person. And I don't know if that's what I want to be doing. It's not a game, it's a rich thing. Now listen up, I'm going to give you guys an intel so you don't say that oh Glory did not inform me about this thing or Glory was not nice. Let me just give you guys this coded information which is not really coded anyways. Now for those of you that have a favorite housemate inside the lockdown house, hmm, there is an open secret campaign being carried out by certain Nigerian celebrities on behalf of Ozo. Yes, there are videos circulating all around the internet of Ozo's sisters campaigning strongly for Ozo to be in the house, campaigning for votes for Ozo. And some Nigerian celebrities are helping to push out those videos. I don't know if they are paid, I don't know if they are doing it for free, or I don't know if they are basically just in the camp of Ozo. So, for you that is spending all your energy fighting and quarreling with another fan base instead of it to be voting guess what hey <laughs> it go shock you on sunday your favorite housemate might be voted out of the house so if you want to see your favorite housemate still in that house do yourself a favor and vote 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 stop wasting your energy fighting on the internet i've said my own piece so oh yeah let's get into the main video of today hey guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is glory elijah and this is frankly speaking with glory yes so guys regarding what i said at the beginning of this video i would have put out the videos of Ozo's sisters campaigning for him but it would only mean that i am actually using my channel to campaign for only one housemate and i do not want to do that because already a lot of you are saying that glory is biased glory has a favorite and i've told you guys i love all the housemates equally so whatever i see on my channel about them i am only analyzing their strategies and how they play their games so please do your favor as i said and vote for your favorite housemate okay if you want to know how to vote visit africa's magic website okay www www.africamagic.com i don't want to waste too much time giving them cheap publicity over here on how to do this and do that just go to their website and you'll find out how to vote now guys today's video is all about tolani badge and prince's relationship um, before i go into that relationship please take a moment pause this video and subscribe to my channel it's very easy it is for free you are not paying a dime to youtube or anybody to subscribe to my channel okay so it's actually free for you to watch my videos for free free content free information hey all right guys so please um pause this video click on the red subscribe button to become a part of this family and also to always be the first to get a lot of my videos because i upload videos multiple times daily please click on the white bell button that is right beside the red subscribe button it is called a post notification bell click on that button and you will always be amongst the first persons that get a lot of my videos so this morning tolani badge was having a conversation with new while he was having his breakfast. I just feel like every day something new that I don't like. And if I have to touch on somebody that you do this with, I feel like I'm changing the person. And I don't know if that's what I want to be doing. So Tolani Badge was telling new that every day she discovers something about Prince that she does not like. She feels like she keeps on telling him, you know, not to do this thing, not to do that thing. But at the end of the day, it makes her feel like she's trying to change him from who he truly is. And then Neo asks her, what is her love language? Because this housemates, they've been going on and on about what's your love language since yesterday due to the wager that they are preparing for this evening. And then Tolani Badge said that her love language is quite a lot, that she has um, attention, she has um, time, you know, spending quality time. She also likes um pda you know display of um, public affection stuff like that and then she also likes gifts you know so she said that she has not seen prince showing any of all those things to her you know and then i'm like well i don't blame the guy because the truth is if a guy does not find interest in you from the beginning and you were actually the one that made the first move the truth is it would actually take the guy a lot of time yeah to gear towards your own side of the relationship so sometimes because of that delay it might come across to you as if the guy does not like you at all at all or the guy is not even putting any effort at all at all remember it was actually totally bad that made the first move and prince was actually laid back whilst chasing his other interests 
so she was asking him if prince said anything or mentioned anything whatsoever about her relationship with him to the rest of the guys and neil was saying that no that prince did not mention anything they didn't even have any conversation about herself and prince and then um tolani bad just complained to neil that she was tired of um what's going on between herself and prince because he makes her feel like she's forcing herself on him he makes her feel like she's bothering him he makes her feel like she's not welcome like she's invading his space and all of that you know and guys i'll tell you why she's complaining about all these things and then Nio was like ah, have you talked to him this and that this and that and she said oh that they've had a conversation before but the situation is still the same case and she's tired of it you know that now she has decided to just hands off you know allow him be she's not going to push anything further she's not going to press anything further and then they were not having a coded kind of relationship i think Nio was now whispering and asking tolani badge eh, that thing afa you don't talk to him about that thing and i'm presuming they were actually talking about sex because two days ago or two nights ago tolani badge and prince actually had a conversation about sex and there was a day um earlier this week or last week that prince was having a conversation with a couple of other housemates and he made a statement he said he would never for any reason do it on national tv or international television that he respects himself that much he doesn't want anything that's going to implicate him or give him any wahala at all so he said till he leaves this house he's not going to do it that was what he said so two nights ago after um, okay that was on monday night yeah after Tolani Badge won Deputy HOH, you know, kudos to Kid Wire choosing her and based on the agreement Kid Wire had with Erica, Tolani Badge was having that conversation with Prince. One of them talked about a lot of things. Um, Tolani Badge also let him know how hurt she is, you know, for the fact that he's always acting as if she's disturbing and disturbing him or she's pestering him. And then he also talked about sex. And then it seems like Prince made his own stance known to Tolani Badge that, hey, babe, this thing, well, I, I'm not just interested, I'm not just interested. And before that conversation they had, there have been several nights since both of them started sharing the same bed, there have been several nights that Tolani Badge would be trying to get Prince's attention. There was a particular night that she was trying to kiss him. And all that time again, she was trying to get him to hold her. And all that night again, she was trying to do a lot of things. But the guy was just strongly resisting all of her advances. You know? So, I feel like Prince is trying so hard to maintain his stance that he's not going to have any sort of, you know, sexual intimacy with any girl in the house. Yeah? So, Tolani Badge, she probably feels like the only way prince can show that he cares about her if if is if he agrees to be showing all these pdas you know kissing her like kid um like kid wire kisses erica you know just being publicly physical with her like other people that are a couple in the house are behaving but prince on the contrary does not operate that way and he has told her about it you know so last night i remember seeing Prince was sleeping alone in his bed. And Tolani Badge was on her own bed. Her bed is close to Brito and Watoni's bed. So she was very, very restless on her bed. Like, very, very restless on her bed. I don't know why she was restless. For whatever reason, I don't understand why she was restless. But she was just very restless on her bed. She kept on tossing and turning. And Watoni asked her, are you okay, T Badge? You know, and she was like, eh, she's okay. Like, before we knew it, she got off the bed and she went out again. So, this time around, I was expecting to see her in the HOH lounge, but so, for some weird reason, she did not go to the HOH lounge, and I was checking to see if I would see her on Prince's bed. She was not on Prince's bed. Now, guys, there's another thing that happened after Eric was evicted. Eric was having an interview, and he made mention, because he was asked a question, who is the horniest housemate in the house? They asked him if it was Kid Wire. He said no. Then I asked him who it was, and he said Tolani Badge. Hey! Guys, tables have been breaking on this show since 1990. Nobody can see it coming. I swear down. Nobody even knows at all. Like, what? Guys, when Eric said that, hey! I said, oh my days. Oh my days. Eric has scattered tables. Eric has broken all the tables, I swear down. Like, guys. I wasn't really shocked. I wasn't really surprised because, hey, some people are very, very much more sexually aware of their 
bodies more than other people right so people are completely different so this is not a judgment zone yeah i'm not judging totally bad or anything like that but i am just saying you know what i heard though from these other housemates so so guys back to the conversation that she was having with um neil this morning you know um she said that well she probably had that conversation with um prince and dude was not just up for it so according to totally bad she's not going to push the relationship any further now the reason why i brought about this topic today is because somebody was asking me not just somebody about two people were asking me in my comment section yesterday that glory please talk about tolani badge's relationship with prince do you think it's actually legit do you think it's actually real do you think they are serious with each other the answer to that question is that prince is not interested in tolani badge 